so happy that you're here. You cannot believe how excited I was for this interview. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be sitting across from a tennis legend in Pakistan, I am, <laughs> I am, I'm very humbled right now because uh, you have played tennis at a national and international level, and uh, you recently, um, I think in the past year, you played tennis for your university mm -hmm. and represented Pakistan in the Asian Games of mm -hmm. 2018 and you reached the semifinals of national tournaments and the Fed Cup team. Yeah. I mean, that's huge. Yeah. That's amazing. And you, uh, you have a national doubles uh, title under your belt. And uh, not to mention, you're a tennis analyst as well as a news anchor. Oh my God. Um, ladies and gentlemen, heck poker for you. Is there anything you don't do? Well, I try my best, but firstly, I'd like to say thank you so much for having me on your show. I'm humbled that you, you know, that I can be on your show as well. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying my best, you know, trying to be as good as I possibly can at anything that I do in life. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I'm just, I'm going with the flow. I mean, you were former it. number three in, mm -hmm. um, you know, in the tennis Ranking. arena or, you tennis know, yeah. yeah. And it's amazing. I mean, where did this inspiration come from? I mean, to grab the tennis racket, how did you, you know, come to that moment in life? Well, initially, I remember I must have been around maybe nine years, eight, I think I was eight or nine years old. And, you know, I mean, people used to watch tennis in my house and stuff, but I was too young to actually know anything about it. And actually, my brother and my sister, they used to play with my dad. Like, they used to go to the courts and, you know, just play for fun and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I started going initially with my sister. It was, uh, we used to live in Pindi at that time because okay. my dad was in the army. So I, we actually used to go to, they were called the GHQ courts in Pindi. We started going there. And I, I would go there, but I wouldn't really, you know, play that much. I would just go and hang out and watch my sister play, watch my brother play, you know, just run around the track that they had. Of course, grab a racket sometimes, play and stuff. But it was, um, but I remember my love for the game, I think, started then because I used to watch people play. And of course, people, you know, there were people playing that were much better than me. At I used to go and I used to play and I used to play. And I think, uh, you know, my interest in tennis really grew and I think that's where it just all started. So it was uh, inspiration from the, you know, actual practice, not from, you know, sportsmen or sportswomen. Well, I think I was too young. Actually, at me, I was more interested in cricket and oh. wrestling. I don't know why. Really? But I don't know why. I would come home from school and I'd be like, okay, I want to watch old cricket matches or whatever was on the highlights. Or I'd be like, oh, I'm just going to watch wrestling. And my mom would be like, please, can we change the channel? But oh so you've yeah. always had a sports cop, sporty personality. Okay. Because when I was in like in our back in our back garden, I would play basketball, football, badminton, you know, all sorts. And then it was just it just happened to be that I started going to the tennis courts. Yeah. And, you know, my brother and my sister, my dad, everybody, they all used to play, and I think I just it just really intrigued me. Even at that age, I was really intrigued by tennis. But um, I started playing seriously when I was about, I think, 13 years old because um, I actually, I used to compete before that as well in like under 10, under 11, yeah. under 12 and I actually used to win those titles. But you know, it was just for fun. It was yeah. like, okay, whatever, I'll go. Okay, you didn't yeah, take it that seriously, yeah, huh? And then um, I remember I got selected to be in the team um, for this 14 and under thing that was happening abroad. It was me and this other girl um, who used to play tennis. And of course, there were a few boys. And um, it was an international tour in Myanmar, I remember. Oh. It was in Myanmar. And I think when I was there, I was So that was when I really realized what tennis is like, how competitive it is yeah. internationally. And after that, I think that's when I was like, OK, you know what? I want to play this competitively in like a serious manner. Oh, so, my yeah. goodness. OK, so. Um, I don't know much about tennis, mm -hmm. but when I was young, I tried to play and my shots were always moon balls. And that means that your balls just go, you know, way into the sky and all the way across the field. So that happened to me. And I just, I mean, tennis is a very disciplined sport. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you can't just, you know, grab the racket and start playing. You have to, uh, you know, a proper tarika hai uska, you know, how to hold the racket, apne kis tarah se um, forearm and back arm and everything is still karna up right So uh, I'm going to cut you off right here, but we're going to take a small break. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
back ladies and gentlemen i am sitting with mehak khokar aapne ek naam bana liya hai international you know setting may be you know with respect to tennis matlab we need more female mm-hmm. and more pakistani players in the international structure no, I, we need uh, you know young pakistani women who are dedicated but the my cricket team mashallah se bahut achhi hai female cricket team to yeah, mention that okay. specifically bahut achhi hai we have a hockey team that's doing mm-hmm. pretty well and we have tennis stars like you and you know um who are basically spreading pakistan in a in such a positive, positive light mm-hmm. but the sports diplomacy is you know at its peak maybe main ye kehti hu ki um honestly especially jab you know when someone's a child or jab unki developmental stage hoti hai jab you know they're building their character तो मुझे लगता है कि स्पोर्ट इज़ प्रॉब्ली द बेस्ट थिंग जो पेरेंट्स अपने बच्चों को जिसमें वो डाल सकते हैं क्योंकि आप बिजी रहते हो और जब आप बिजी रहते हो तो आपका दिमाग और आपका ध्यान दूसरी गलत चीज़ों में नहीं पड़ता एंड बीइंग एक्टिव इज़ प्रॉब्ली द बेस्ट थिंग दैट अ चाइल्ड और अ पर्सन कैन डू यानी कि क्योंकि आई वॉज एक्टिव सिंस यंग एज तो अभी भी अगर मुझे कहीं बस बैठना पड़े और इफ़ आई डोंट हैव टू डू एनी थिंग समथिंग स्टार्ट हैपनिंग टू मी I mean I have to stay active all the time and I think it's it's so good for you as you know it keeps you busy it keeps you away from wrong things healthy the old time it's healthy and it's a positive thing you know you and growing up you learn such good qualities from it you know you sportsmanship, up, sportsmanship comp- competitive up hote ho in a good way sportsmanship like you said and then aapko mehnat का मतलब भी पता होता है आपको मेहनत करनी आती है आपको पता होता है कि जब तक आप मेहनत नहीं करोगे तो आप किसी चीज़ में आगे नहीं जा सकते नो मैटर हाउ टैलेंटेड यू माइट बी एंड इवन हार्ड वर्क इज अ टैलेंट बिकॉज नॉट एवरीबडी कैन डू इट हर किसी में नहीं होता है कि मेहनत कर कर सके तो मुझे लगता है कि इट विल टीच यू द वैल्यूज ऑफ लाइफ इवन फॉर यू इवन इफ यू नॉट गोइंग टू गेट इन इवन इफ यू नॉट गोइंग टू स्टे इन द स्पोर्ट इन द फ्यूचर लेकिन जब आपकी जॉब आएगी कुछ भी आएगा तो उसमें भी वो आपको सिखाएगा तो दैट्स अ वेरी गुड एस्पेक्ट दैट अ लॉट ऑफ पेरेंट्स शुड लुक एट रिगार्डिंग स्पोर्ट्स लेट्स मूव ऑन टू यू नो अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ योर स्ट्रगल्स और चैलेंजेस व्हेन यू वर यंग डिड यू एवर फील दैट टेनिस वाज चैलेंजिंग और स्ट्रेसफुल बिकॉज़ यू मे बी यू हैड सम सॉर्ट ऑफ प्रेशर ऑन यू अम यस फॉर श्योर व्हेन आई वाज यंगर अम I as a person I feel pressure a lot because I always want to do my best and if things don't I remember when I was younger if things wouldn't go my way so I would get really upset and I would be stressed and you know um but it I think jo bhi kuch hota hai it happens for a reason now that I'm older you know I've realized ki jo bhi kuch hota hai it happens for a reason and there's always some good behind it but um tennis is a very tough sport aur usme hamesha I mean it has its it has its you know advantages and, and it has its you know weaknesses disadvantages yeah. as well and stress of course is one of them kyunki aap you know day in day out aap itne ghante courts pe laga rahe ho aap mehnat kar rahe ho aap you know it's it's really tiring on your body as well hmm, physical exertion bahut aata hai it's very tiring on your body as well and even mentally people just think it's all physical but i think it's more mentally tiring on your body Achha, okay, after usually, a while you get used to the routine ki aapne mehnat karni aapne ja ke fitness karni hai tennis itne ghante khelna hai dhoop mein khelna hai which are all really tough things but your body begins to get used to it but i think mentally it's more challenging kyunki itni nayi nayi situations aur itni nayi nayi cheeze aapko you know every day aapko face karni padti hai while you're playing tennis aur usse aap mentally strong hona padta hai varna so aapke uh, as a female tennis player in pakistan i'm sure ke aapko dher sare challenges face karne pade the wo bhi head on to wo aap share karna pasand karenge kyunki wo kaun se challenges the and how you overcame them um challenges to of course you know people don't really especially in pakistan anyway um firstly pakistan is a very wildly popular sport uh, sorry tennis is a very wildly popular sport in pakistan Unfortunately, or I mean, लड़कों को भी स्ट्रगल करना पड़ता है पाकिस्तान में द टेनिस प्लेयर्स द गाय टेनिस प्लेयर्स लेकिन लड़कियों के लिए ऑफकोर्स ज़्यादा स्ट्रगल है क्योंकि हमें उतनी सपोर्ट नहीं मिलती यू नो फाइनेंशली एनी थिंग जो भी है इतना नहीं मिलता um, और यू नो इट्स वेरी रेयर कि लड़की आके टेनिस खेल रही है पाकिस्तान में जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दैर आई फील लाइक इट्स इन अ वे इट्स टफर बिकॉज आपको खुद इंस्परेशन और ख़ुद आपको वो सब अंदर से ढूंढना पड़ता है मोटिवेशन खुद से ढूंढनी पड़ती है कि मैं आऊँ मैं खेलूँ मैं कुछ करूँ इस फील्ड में इवन वो आपको पता है कि आपको 
इतना कुछ शायद वापस नहीं मिलेगा किसी और से आपको खुद करके जो आपको मिलेगा दैट्स व्हाट्स गोइंग टू हार्ड वर्किंग परसेवरेंस या दैट्स व्हाट्स गोइंग टू बी यूर्स टू कीप सो आई थिंक दैट वाज अ चैलेंज ऑफ कोर्स एंड आई मीन इन टेनिस एंड आई थिंक इन एवरी स्पोर्ट इन एनी फील्ड एक्चुअली देयर इज ऑलवेज सम स्ट्रगल्स एंड यू नो पीपल दैट विल से नेगेटिव थिंग्स नॉट एवरीबॉडी विल encourage you But not everybody will appreciate I your hard work i think ye so, jo baat aapne ki hai ye i think har field mein apply hoti hai har field mein apply hoti hai ki there's not not everybody will like you or will like what you're doing or will support you not everybody will there will be critics there will be people that will be bad mouthing you there will be people that will criticize you all for the no time reason. for no reason yeah, a lot of times it's for no reason even though wo aapki madad nahi karenge jab aapko zarurat hogi यानी कि आप उनके घर से नहीं खा रहे बट उनको कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा दे विल स्टिल बी देयर टू क्रिटिसाइज यू बट यू शुड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर के यू नो इट्स हाउ यू लुक ऑब्जेक्टिव्स हैं एंड आई हैव रियलाइज्ड नाउ स्पेशली कि इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ यू लुक एट द सिचुएशन यू कैन चूज टू लुक एट द नेगेटिव्स एंड लिसन टू दोस पीपल बट दैट विल ओनली डैमेज यू नॉट देम बट इफ यू यू नो बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ पॉजिटिव इन एवरी सिचुएशन बट इफ यू स्टिक टू लुकिंग एट द पॉजिटिव्स तो उससे आपकी बेहतरी होगी और किसी की नहीं अच्छा तो um, आपकी कोई डेली रूटीन है आजकल वेल इट्स काइंड ऑफ बिजी बिकॉज मैं जॉब भी कर रही हूँ अच्छा, मैं टेनिस भी खेल रही हूँ पी टी वी वर्ल्ड में आई एम न्यूज एंकर एंड देन ऑन द स्पोर्ट्स शो आई एम टेनिस एनालिस्ट जब वन दे वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट टेनिस एंड स्टॉफ तो um, वैसे तो um, I've been going in the morning to play tennis. Oh, it starts around 8:30. थर्टी तो फिर मैं सुबह उठती हूँ अराउंड सेवन सेवन थर्टी and um sometimes we i play two sessions sometimes it's one oh my god so sometimes it's the Kitne morning and the um subah hota 8:30 to 11 se leke 11:30 tak kabhi kabhi 9 baje shuru hota hai and then it lasts from like 11 to 11:30 okay. and then if you want to play in the afternoon as well to wo shuru hota hai around 4:35 aur wo jata hai sunset tak aur phir kabhi kabhi you know you want to do extra to aap gym chale jate ho ya kuch to it's quite tiring and phir um मेरी जॉब भी आई हैव टू मैनेज माय जॉब इन बिटवीन ऑब्वियसली यू नो इफ आई इफ आई हैव टू गो एंड एंकर क्योंकि स्केड्यूल हर हफ्ते चेंज होता है तो जब मेरा टाइम स्लॉट होता है तो ऑफ कोर्स आई कैन प्ले और आई कैन गो एनीवेयर एल्स एट दैट टाइम हां तो फिर ऑब्वियसली यू नो बिकॉज़ दैट्स अ प्रायोरिटी फॉर मी एज़ वेल तो आई हैव टू आई गो देयर तो हाउ डिड यू डिसाइड के यू नो प्रोफेशनल टेनिस प्लेयर से न्यूज़ एंकर ये क्या रिलेशन था इसका आई थिंक आई ऑलवेज हैव दिस passion in me of being on TV yeah. I always had this thing ke oh, I really want to be in television or um university mein maine actually journalism padha tha really yeah maine journalism oh my God, i have yes. a bachelor's degree in journalism that's wonderful to mera hamesha ye tha ki main you know broadcast journalism ki taraf aao and i used to write sometimes as well to um I always just I just always wanted to be a news anchor on TV as well so it's the I thought acha to jo sports ki friendships hoti hai I think from as an as an outsider I think wo zyada strong hoti hain as mm-hmm. compared to you know normal friendships so aap shayad school mein banate ho ya mm-hmm. outside in you know parks or recreational mm-hmm. activities mein hoti hai I think sports friendships are much more stronger they are stronger because aap firstly to aap ek uh, passion share karte ho aur jo har koi nahi understand karta jo har koi nahi janta jiske bare mein nahi janta तो यू नो यू फील लाइक यू फैन समवन जिसके साथ आप वो चीज डिस्कस कर सकते हैं एक कनेक्शन होती है जो नॉर्मल लोगों को नहीं समझ आएगी लाइक आई डोंट मीन नॉर्मल बट आई मीन जो दूसरे लोगों को नॉन स्पोर्ट्स नॉन एथलीट्स को नहीं समझ आएगी तो यानी कि आपको लगता है कि यू यू आर नॉट अलोन इन दिस एंड एज यू नो टेनिस इज एन इंडिविजुअल स्पोर्ट सो समटाइम्स इट कैन गेट लोनली सो इट्स ऑलवेज नाइस टू हैव फ्रेंड्स दैट आर प्लेइंग द सेम स्पोर्ट एज यू एंड यू कैन हेल्प ईच अदर ग्रो एज़ वेल इन द स्पोर्ट बिकॉज़ यू कैन डिस्कस कि क्या करना चाहिए क्या नहीं करना चाहिए रिगार्डिंग द स्पोर्ट एंड इट्स जस्ट आई थिंक For me personally, मुझे जो मैंने दोस्तियाँ बनाई हैं टेनिस के थ्रू यू नो आल ऑलवेज चेरिश दम क्योंकि इट्स नॉट जस्ट आप उनके साथ ट्रैवल भी करते हो स्पोर्ट खेलते वक्त और यू नो इट्स सो मैनी इंटरनेशनल फ्रेंडशिप्स एज वेल जो मुझे जिसका चांस मुझे ना मिलता अगर मैं टेनिस ना खेलती और यू नो दीज आर लाइफ लॉन्ग फ्रेंडशिप्स देर ग्रेट मेमरीज जो आपकी दैट स्टे विद यू फर एवर और आप कभी किसी और उनकी कंट्री में जाओगे भी तो यू नो यू कैन ऑलवेज मीट अप विद एम एंड इट्स वेरी डाइवर्स and it's very good for your Authentic, knowledge and, yeah. Yeah, and it's very diverse so it's really good to make you even expand you know um help your mind and your personality to expand it really helps acha so um you you you've mentioned that you visit scotland mm-hmm. on and off mm-hmm. uh, because your maternal side of the family is there but uh, my question for you is do you prefer samba 
Uh, I think if so, why? Islamabad has its own charm and its own beauty. Acha. I don't think they really compare. I don't think you can really compare them. Acha. It's not really such a comparison because Islamabad is unique in its own way. But of course, um, I love being in Scotland. But I think that's more because I'm very close to my maternal side of the family. Scotland is a place So I think it's a nice hard yeah. castle and everything, the mountains. So I think it's a good break when I go there. And I would, I would even love to live there in the future because I've lived there in the past. And it's, okay. it's, 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 sec, it's like second home It's a second home, home to me, for yeah. you, yeah. So, um, I think we can understand I, I can't really compare them. Achha, so apart from tennis, I think tennis has a lot of things. And uh, what do you like to do for fun? What do you like? Do you enjoy art? Going to galleries, music? Um, you know, movies think, or you know, it's, anything. It sounds weird, even though um, I love being on TV, but I don't really watch movies. I don't really yeah. enjoy, and I don't enjoy TV. I don't watch TV either. I think in it's the weird, in the age know. that we live in, I think of Netflix, Hulu, but, but Amazon Prime. That. No, I don't. I don't know. I just feel like I could be doing something better with my time. Like I'm tennis. <laughs> not even ten. No, not tennis because yeah. of course I need a break from yeah. tennis as well. But. Huh. Like I just feel like I could be doing something maybe productive or you know hanging out with someone or reading something interesting or just doing something productive. Yeah, okay. But I've tried TV many times. I've tried you know to put on a movie on Netflix when I have free time. And I'm like, I'll watch my movie. They can give. They can. Wo kuch bug guzarta. And I'm like, I can't do this. And then I end up putting it off. But I think um, you know otherwise I like to hang out with my friends. I like to you know and uh, I like to. I, I love think, traveling. Yeah, traveling. As I you love, mentioned it's that, like a, because it's like a drug to me. I love traveling. I could. Uh, can you name your top three most favorite places that you've traveled That's to? That's a tough one. Really? That's oh, a goodness. tough one because I have so many favorite places, and I feel like just jump up. You know, most the majority of the places that I've visited. Yeah. So much of going up, which is it's neat for Sunday. Yeah, like at least one thing that it just makes me fall in love with it. Hmm. Not every place, but most places. But I think. Um, in Asia, in Asia, my favorite place till this day is Malaysia. Malaysia. Malaysia in Asia. Oh my goodness! Uh, we we feed all of our guests. guests. Yeah, yeah, we love our guests so much to that point where we're like, eat, yeah, we please, <laughs> eat, please. Oh, that looks good. It does. <laughs> what is that chick chicken? Yeah, it's stuffed chicken. So you were mentioning uh, your top uh, favorite places, places to visit and you mentioned Malaysia and Barcelona. Yes. Um, in Asia, it's yeah. been Malaysia and actually... Um, please, just, uh, before you continue, please have some stuffed chicken oh, wow. um, you know, on the house. Tangelo sponsored this chicken and it's absolutely amazing. It looks so good. Um, good. Please feel free and continue. You know. well, that's really nice, thank you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was saying that uh, we actually hum abhi gaye the Malaysia do mahine pehle Kuala Lumpur Fed Cup khelne ke liye Acha. Fed Cup ka event udhar tha aur um, Malaysia has been my favorite in Asia lekin uske ilawa Barcelona maine kaha tha kyunki Barcelona ki jo was I love beaches beaches are like my ideal like you know I, it's my favorite sun, yeah, the, the sun sand. and the sand and the clear water yeah. it's just ideal for me um aur uske it's just it has the beach, then it has the mountains, yeah. and the architecture there is wonderful. Really? It's wonderful, and I just loved it. And another place that I really love is Hawaii. Hawaii? I love Hawaii. Oh my goodness. Which island is your favorite? I Well, I've only been to Honolulu and Maui, okay. and I love them both. Oh my goodness. Both, yeah. Oh my goodness. Major travel envy right now. But um, you mentioned that you... Um, were able to, um, you know, come to two finals, mm -hmm. and you were uh, in there. I think um, it was in the national tournament, yeah, right? The national and uh, how was that experience? Would you like to share that experience with us? Um, I had been in, I think, a, a few finals before that too. But this year, um, I made it to two finals, but I couldn't win them. Um, and I actually ended up playing the girl who's Pakistan number one. Mm -hmm. And it was, it's, it's a great feeling because you still get please a trophy. Please have tea oh, and please you. have I will, some I will, food. I thank you. Um, but it was, it's a great feeling because you, you know, you get, you get a trophy and you have a feeling that yeah. you know, I reached that achievement, far. Achievement, achievement, achievement. Yeah, um, 
पर हाँ शीज़ मीन शीज़ प्रेडी गुड और जो हमारा पहला फाइनल हुआ था वो काफ़ी क्लोज भी गया था टू एंड हाफ आवर लॉन्ग मैच प्रेडी क्लोज बट या energy bar that you might eat beforehand to get um, you know get all of that energy or i think uh, i think in this heat uh, i think uh, we need we need to stay hydrated yeah. you pakistan mein itni garmi hoti hai to neebu pani ya ors ke bas peete raho peete raho make sure you're hydrated even the night before oh god or um, bananas bananas, bananas? And dates are key yeah. oh bananas my god so do you like make little um you know date bars with chocolate chips no, and oatmeal i just keep it simple i just have a banana oh and i'll have god. like a date or something okay okay so please help yourself or you know what How about we do this? How about we just get rid of the plates? You know. Okay, we can do that. You know. You yeah, I think that's a much better idea. This looks good. It, it looks I really think good. I'm just really, really eager and excited to eat the, all oh, of this. Yeah, and um, feel free to have some lettuce. And I think uh, you know they. because we're two different personalities so they might think that you know we go might ahead, want different vegetables no 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 i'm just saying feel free and um yeah so um do you work with um aspiring tennis uh players um yes work them one on one training or yeah actually at the at the academy that um we have at the Pakistan Tennis Federation it's actually um it's majority of the top players train there now Oh, that's so, wonderful. Yeah, and, and it, it just, just opened, opened up, up this year in the beginning of this year, but um it's been quite successful because a lot of the top national players come and train there. Mm. And um yeah, so I'm always training with them and you know, we're training together. Aur us tarah motivation rehti hai sabke andar aur you know, aap zyada mehnat karna chahte ho ki aap dekhte ho ki aapke ird gird bhi log mehnat kar rahe hain. Aur usne that's actually made tennis a lot more interesting and fun. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's it's made it a lot Please more fun. Please have some fun. food. Anyway. It is absolutely yeah. cheesy. It's so <laughs> good. I It's really good. Cannot. I mean, I think I'm going to have to get another one made and take, take it, home. it home with you. Yeah. No, no, you really know, good. watch it with some Netflix. Eat it with some Netflix. Um, but yeah. So, you like to read, you like to help people and um you I mean, that's community service in a way, right? I mean, you're you're helping people get a better I mean, understanding of tennis and i mean i do yeah i think it's you know it's always nice to give hmm, to people in your community because i feel like you need to be everybody in this world is here to be of service hmm. to other people and i think you see that we can help the world yeah. to move forward as well but cool. so i wouldn't say oh you know i'm helping people hmm. i'm great but i think everybody helps everybody out in a way That's that's wonderful. I'm so glad that you took time out to join me today, Mahek. Yes, I'm I've had the best time ever and the stuffed chicken is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I I think I will get one made and take one home. Yeah, sure. <laughs> But um thank you so much for joining Welcome, me. Bahut so maza aaya. And um good luck for your uh you know news anchorship. Thank you. And um I hope your show does well as you know you are a tennis analyst and I hope to see you on the ground more. and um you know on the tennis court and uh, i we i mean thank you for spreading such a positive image of pakistan internationally and uh, yeah so thank you so much thank and you thank, you. thank you and thank you so much for joining me on sundown evening tea with naila um i will see you guys next time allah fis तो आज हमने टेंगलोस का स्टफ चिकन खाया था इट वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली परफेक्ट कुक टू परफेक्शन दे यूज ए बोनलेस चिकन ब्रेस्ट जिसमें दे स्टफ इट विद मशरूम्स ऑलिव एंड चीज राइट एंड देन दे एडिड क्रीमी चीजी सॉस टू इट बट दे ऑल्सो स्टफ द चिकन ब्रेस्ट विद क्रम्स एग्स एंड फ्लावर and that made it pop out even more it was absolutely perfect it was cooked to perfection thank you so much tanglos and i can't wait to come back